Here we go. Today we're going to be working on my commercial maneuvers. We're going to be doing uh, Shondells, Power Off 180s, and 8s on a Pylon, all which I do pretty poorly at this point. I mean, it's, I think it's pretty embarrassing. Yep. All right, there we go. And we're at the numbers, and you call the engine cutoff. And right now. Cutoff. All right, engine cutoff now. We have an engine failure. Uh, the traffic knows what we're doing, and let me establish best glide at 80. Establishing best glide at 80, there she is. And my touchdown markers are going to be the, uh, I mean my touchdown point is, are going to be the touchdown markers, okay? Alright. Okay. Not gonna touch the flaps yet. And my point will be my runway markers. The touchdown Thousand. markers. Thousand markers? Thousand markers, right. Okay. Left rail traffic, split otter entering at two and a half mile left face, one nine, left rail. Left rail traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee power off, uh, short final two threes, left rail. And out of the Pawnee is about a half a mile out on the left face for one night. Do you have me in sight? Uh, I'm looking for you. That's when Otter has the Pawnee in sight, Zephyr. Okay. Pawnee is uh, short left face to final full stop, one nine Zephyr. That's when Otter coming up on the trailer park, 3,000 feet left face, one nine number two for landing, Zephyr. A little long. It's, it's interesting because we you have to remember that cross wind landing today again. Yeah. You managed it. I think you are a little off off center line, yeah. off our limits, but not too terrible. Wait a minute. I suck at this. I mean, it's even worse than sucking at it. It's just downright embarrassing. The one thing about the commercial experience here, as I go through it, it's really and this just kind of dawned on me. It's kind of like, Ugh, but. It's really about having complete authority over the airplane. And yes, what is kind of so embarrassing about this is that this is my airplane. I should really know it, but then I've never done these maneuvers before. So today I'm gonna reposition a camera at the tail to really see if I'm hitting my mark. I was way off it the other day. It was just bad, but I am learning of what this airplane does. And of course I would normally not do this in my airplane because I haven't done the commercial maneuvers yet. This is the time to do them and also it's time to practice but commercial is all about owning the authority over your airplane really being able to fly it so that's what we're going to do today we're going to get better on these marks we're going to conserve our altitude a little bit better and we're going to hit these marks so that's the goal today several traffic cardinal 221 frankie turning left base for five the there we go looks a little better Keep that speed. Zephyr Hills traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee, turning final, runway 5, Zephyr Hills. First notch down. That was it. That was it. That was it. All right, flaps up. Two tone for Yankee on the go. Runway five, Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills traffic cardinal. Two tone for Yankee. Turning final. Runway five, Zephyr Hills.
There it is. Got it second time. All right, I think I've got this. Several Cardinal 221 Frankie on the go runway 5 of real. So there it is. Now I saved you from having to watch the 10 landings before this where I didn't make it. But what I did was I just practiced. And what really kind of clinched it in for me was I did a couple landings, just normal landings, just trying to hit a spot and hit those uh, thousand foot markers. So I did a couple power on landings, just hitting with, with appropriate flap set, um, just trying to hit those thousand foot markers. And I nailed that every time. So I just started coming around, really watching my altitude, watching my speed, translating that speed into distance, and knowing when to put the flaps. And I did this for about an hour, and it was great. The airport was practically empty, and I had the whole field to myself. And what you saw here were the last two, or the second to last two landings that I did that I just nailed it. But what really helped me was those few power on landings just to get to know this plane a little better. So I hope this helped you. I hope this, uh, this is encouraging you to get out there and fly. And if you're working on your commercial, just get out there and practice. And of course, you'll need to buy your own plane. We're gonna do an episode about that very shortly. And again, thank you for watching. And if you're over 50, get out there, get into the cockpit, no matter what stage of this you are at, and get flying, get into the air. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.